Okay, let's set up this experiment for you. What we have connected right now is our high voltage is connected. One single flyback is connected right now. But my Tesla coil is on. Now, I only have 15 volts in my Tesla coil right now. And my high voltage field is on. And what you're seeing here is that the lights are lighting up all over the place. The two fields are interconnected. I showed in another video that that's where we were. Is our field is interconnected. Now, as I turn up the Tesla coil, it, it pushes the field out further. So, I can only use so many volts in the Tesla coil. So, at this point, even though it's only 15 volts, I'm running the risk of overvolting it in this whole experiment. Again, this is uh, conventional running with the high voltage going in the center too and my actual Tesla coil going on the outside or to the center plate. As you can see, the field itself is magnificent. It pushes out pretty far. We're getting a lot of high voltage spark over though. And you can see it's messing with the camera. So, I wanted to show the effects so you could see the high voltage. I wanted to see that the camera frame rate is all messed up when you get to these fields. It, the camera itself, I'm sitting about 10 feet back uh, from my actual gravity flyer. In some of these things, when you see it on the tripod, right here, I am sitting probably about two feet from it that's about it and you see the field making the camera go wonky so here we go here's the field when I set it back 10 feet and as you can see I'm still getting a very bad picture guys this aligns with what uh, Alexi was getting with the bad camera it just it distorts the camera there's no way to say it this comes from my uh, comes from my Android phone. It's got a pretty good camera on it. So. There it goes. It just finally gave out. You'll start to see it here. I'm getting a rapid spark over. It's bad. Every once in a while, we just get too much juice. So somewhere in the circuit, I'm just getting a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of uh, energy spike. So you, you start to see it. But uh, I have to change where my brushes are and the copper going into it because it's just not going to work if I'm going to keep doing these field studies. Now for normal operations, obviously I wouldn't run it this high. But again, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the field is, if it can be contained, if it can't be contained, how far does it go out, it's all in the basis of where we need to localize the field. So as you can see over here to my left, we're setting up the actual tube. And you can see it start to flicker already. And we're going to take a measurement distance and we're going to see how far from the gravity flyer it is. Yeah, see, it's already lit up. Again, guys, this is low voltage coming from the Tesla coil. High voltage, obviously, coming from the center. So let's see what our uh, let's see what our number is here. There you go, thirty nine inches. So at 39 inches away, I'm still pulling a heavy field. Now guys, I can crank up this Tesla coil and shoot this thing across the room. And again, this is conventionally set up. My Tesla coil is connected to the center plate. And inside is my static field on the inside with my high voltage coils. So it's probably because I'm not running two high voltage coils on this where I normally do. I'm only running one high voltage coil or a flyback. I'm running one flyback on this, not two. So I'm getting more voltage 
than I normally would, or more amps than I normally would, I should say, not more voltage. I get more amps than I normally would, so it's making the field a bit stronger. Anyway, by the way, that top uh, piece up there, I did put aluminum foil on it, and yes, it does make a difference on exactly uh, on the top and the very top dome part. So if I were to put a radius over the top of this whole thing, I'd now get an equal amount of energy across the whole top of this thing because it's interconnected into the frame. So it does make a difference on what he did and how he connected it. So anyway, that's it for this test. It's uh, I just showed some fields. Guys, I just wanted to add a quick note to this. My Tesla coil is directly connected to this thing in this experiment. It is not run down the center. It is run directly to the wire that comes off of the top of the Tesla coil, directly to my number two coil. One of the reasons I wanted to do this is just show you how far the field expands when you do that. It gets way too much power when the Tesla coil is connected directly to the center plate. That's why we usually run it down the throat of the Tesla coil. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do all those fun things and have yourself a great day.